These pills might be able to slow the effects of aging in your dog, and one day they could potentially work on you too. A group of scientists are currently analyzing the canine aging process by looking at data from 44,000 dogs across the US. 500 of those dogs are being given rapamycin, a drug that's typically used for cancer and organ transplant treatment, but also appears to slow aging in mice. Researchers say that if rapamycin receives regulatory approval for dogs, there's a chance it could also get the okay for humans later on. I expect him to live to 10, 12, uh, so with if he got the medicine, maybe extend his life three more years, maybe. The drug works by seemingly altering the metabolism of the animal and decreasing levels of stress on the body, which researchers say could lengthen its life. It decreases the amount of stress essentially on the body and how we interpret stress from a cellular level and decreases oxidative stress. And we think that over time, um, this could influence how we age. Although humans and dogs have their obvious fair share of differences, they're actually surprisingly comparable to humans in certain ways, which is why researchers believe that if the medication works for pups, it could be approved for human use in the future. Dogs are a great model. They are equally heterogeneous as people, so people have this very altered phenotype. We can look at people and see that they look different and they act different and they live in different places. And our dogs have those same attributes that are all variable. And so they also have very similar physiology as people. From the inception of this project, it was the idea that dogs could be a great model for human aging. Every month they want you to report on his status, whether he's more sleepy, has he vomited like lost hair. He's been fine. And in fact, I find him friskier. The fact that he could be helping future pet owners have that love and companionship for longer, oh yeah, that's the icing. That's what it's all about.